Part 6 of this just amazing series. I like their flags for this village. Uh, tearing off slime and covered Mio. Mio is up without any form of cover. Cause me to quickly cover my eyes. Oh, don't you dare look at me! Cycling in search of a change of clothes. Mm -hmm. Slime girl gone. Villagers turned towards the fox spears with confused gazes. Tension in the air was thick. No one knew to what, what to expect. Finally, a familiar figure emerged from within the crowd. I'm dying today while I record this. Oh, it's Village Elder Hayate. It's a pleasure to finally meet you again, Takahiro Kun, even if the circumstances could have been better. You know, slime girls and nudity. Never what you want to meet you on. What are you saying, Elzer? This man's clearly in cahoots to the spirits. These girls just wanted to help. My head hurts. <laughs> I don't know why, but like her wounded face makes me laugh every time I see it. I have no idea why. I have to stop repeating myself. I'm here, just hold on to me tightly, protect you, and so will Takakun. It's a trap! Akbar, shut up! Silence, Akbar. How dare you act with such hostility towards those who just saved your lives? God. I need to focus. I guess I'm like kinda tired or some shit. The crowd seemed rather startled by the firmness in the old man's voice, but soon obeyed, some of them feeling rather ashamed all of a sudden. It's clear that you and your companions did not come here with ill intentions, Takahiro Kun. I must ask you to forgive the people for their nervousness and hostility. They just threw her sprite on here for like no reason. It's like, eh, put her up, why not? As you most likely know, contact between spirits and humans has been rather problematic at best. I understand their concern, but will you at least hear me out? If this is what you desire, then it'll be the least we can do for those who helped save the village upon this day. Let us wait for the chief to return. I believe it'll be important for her to hear what you have to say. I'll go find her, Oji Sama. <laughs> I, I don't want to do voices. I'm all fucked up. I can't do these things. Feeling grateful the elder granted me the chance to carry out my plan. We waited for Mio to return. Thankfully, the elder brought us somewhere private where Machiko could tend to Maiko without the villagers looking on in contempt. How many times are we going to say, I'm sorry, I froze. Okay, I panicked. You're short stronger than my Naginata. It's a fucking spear. Whatever. What's I even going to accomplish by... Oh, good, she had the exact same set of clothing lying around. It's very good for her. I'll reprimand. What are those creatures doing here? Elder Sama, <laughs> this is highly unorthodox. <laughs> what? This is most unorthodox. She's highly unorthodox. Shh, Maiko chan. These are our guests, Tsukino Dono. Shall treat them with the respect they deserve. Take a seat and listen to their tale. That is an order. I can't listen to something that fluffy, sir. I understand, Elder Sama. First and foremost, let me express my gratitude for helping save this village. While Sakina Dono's brave attempt to stop the spirit allowed us to prevent further damage, I fear her fate would have been much worse had the spirit been allowed to continue its rampage. Therefore, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for seeing Sakina Dono in this village, Sakiro Kun, and you as well as Fox Spirits. And you as well, Fox Spirits. No problem, Su Chan told us to do it. Besides, Sakura's a stupid, smelly, meaty pants. Fucking. What the fuck? We humbly accept your gratitude, Elder Sama. I humbly offer Taro to your village. Narumi chan, Sukino Dono. Thank you, Maiko san, Chi chan, uh, Machiko san. You really helped us out there. You got more guts than me. That girl had me terrified. I mean, I consider they didn't, might just be working together with that monster and saw just a ruse. Sneak into the village and steal what little resources we have left. We don't want your old man. We don't need anything you've got. Another side before his gaze sharpened, his tone surprisingly stern in comparison to how he'd just been talking. His voice was so harsh that both girls visibly flinched at the sound of it. You seem to, underest you seem to be underestimating the power of these spirits. If those three had joined forces, there would probably be no village left to defend. The man sighed deeply, shaking his head before continuing. You should be grateful we do not stand a chance if all spirits were to conspire against us. Do I need to remind you that we could barely stand our ground against even one of them? You must understand, due to my situation, I simply cannot pretend to be spirit friends with a spirit. Not even not after everything they've done to us, but for now I will at least remain silent on the matter. I might have I might have stepped on my sentence there. My mistake. There's more at stake here than my personal feud. Know this fox spirits, if I find either of you doing anything suspicious, I will personally find out whether my sword goes through as ineffectively as it did that monster. So we no talk of such things within this house. Women, get along. Now, Sakahiro Kun, you mentioned you wanted to tell us something. Yes. Chicken fries are back! Yeah! Could it be related that your younger companion's comment? I find it curious to hear her mention the name of an old spirit such as Siyuri. 
I'm about to tell you something I learned directly from her. You mean you met her in person? Nodded my head firmly. The reason behind the spirit's attitude towards humans and doesn't strike you as odd, there are only spirits in this particular area. It is true there's been no spirit sightings outside of this region, but what does that have to do with us? Something to do with this region, apparently. You see, the spirits here aren't from this world. You mean to say? Takakun, what are you saying? We are spirits, but surely we are of this world. Onesan, what does that mean? So you already told me you probably wouldn't remember it because of how young you were when it happened. Spirits have a world of their own. Some accident caused both worlds to merge temporarily. Why aren't there more spirits around? Only was apparently dealt with before it got out of hand. But a few spirits became trapped here. My spirits trapped here. Machiko-san, Maiko-chan, four other spirits were unfortunate enough to get stuck here. I think Siri willingly came here to watch over them. Remember being with Siri for a while, don't you? That's none of your business. Why does that matter? So Chan took care of us for a while, then she took us to the mansion and sort of just left us there. Now we can only visit her when she wants to. When she wants us to. What about the four other spirits? I wonder what the four other spirits are. Oh, if one's a Lamy, I'm gonna go nuts. And though she's a powerful spirit, Siri has to follow certain rules. Because of that, she wasn't able to reach the other spirits, dot dot dot. I don't know what to say, I need a moment. Might I use another room to compose myself? I'll show you, I can take you somewhere and, uh, look after you. Uh-oh! We're going towards another dirty CGI, aren't we? To make sure you didn't don't do anything fiendish and all that. Come on, Chi, uh, Machiko-san, this way. Machiko and Naomi left the room. I sighed and turned my focus back into the conversation. <laughs> about the, uh, um, panty th they did seem rather adamant about getting their hands on those for some reason. What was the purpose of that? Surely those girls have undergarments of their own. It's a simple mistake. I needed a maiden silk for my spell. How was I supposed to know there was something other than the silky things girls wear? Oops. That was not good. It's all a misunderstanding. None of them knew that a maiden silk is another term for a wedding sash. Sorry if my audio cuts randomly. I'm like stuffed up to all hell right now. I'm trying to clear my nose. So if I step on my own audio, that's my fault. I apologize. None of the new maiden silk is another trip for wedding sash. Innocent Huff, they really thought that they could just choose their own. Not to be wrong, I'm going to hit and I don't have any. You too. This, this gets a little better every second, no joke. I think we should move on to a different matter. Moving on, Siri suggested we find a way to help you guys out. If we can make you trust us, we figured maybe you would make us a sash. Why would you need such an item? Silly man, I already told you I need it for a spell. Ooh. Michael Chan, this guy isn't a magician, he doesn't know what you're talking about. Mug chance of researching spell allowed her to travel to another realm. Why would she desire such a power? Imagine being stuck far away from this village. You don't have any way to return your loved ones. To make matters worse, you're in a place you don't know with beings unlike anything you've seen before. Now, let's say you had a power that let you go anywhere you want. Where would you go? We were, I would go to the lovely land of Delaware. Hi. We're in Delaware. You're saying that even if they weren't aware of it, they must have subconsciously felt they were different from you. They only wanted to go home. Home. Um, kinda, I guess. I just want to cast spells to see what would happen. Just like me. Just do it. Who cares? See what happens. So Jan told me if I ever felt like I should ask her first and go with it, so I did. And since she didn't warn me about anything, I figured it was just like any other spell. I think it's normal, Michael Chan, whether it's human or spirits. Everyone wants a place they can call their own, a place where they're accepted for who they are. Isn't that right, Elder Sama? I like how she gives her own logic, and he's just like, it's okay. You can, you can say you want to go home. But I accept me for who I am. Don't you, Takane? I would certainly feel sad if everyone ended up rejecting me simply because of who I am. Surely not all spirits are good at heart, but perhaps you've been too quick in labeling them all evil. Ah, the revelations. For a moment, I saw the other's eyes wander sideways towards the room Naomi Machiko had moved to, and his gaze softened. They're making out in there. <laughs> Fortunately, some of us have suffered quite a lot at the hands of spirits. It will take time for people to come to terms with those feelings, Takahiro-kun. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, in a room off to the side of the main room, the guard lieutenant was watching over her older fox spirit. She seemed to be in the grips of a minor panic attack. This can't be right. This can't be true. I'm from this world. This world. I belong here, don't I? We I mean, should sit down or like lay back or something. I can get you a pillow if you'd like. Let me use your boobs as a pillow. You could not possibly understand. Can't know what it's like to have everything you know. You knew your whole life just pulled out from under you completely. Actually, I do. What do you mean? A while ago, I was still just a kid, maybe five years old. There was an incident involving those other spirits. I don't know exactly what happened. There was a big fire. My parents got trapped inside. Never made it out. So yeah, don't tell me I don't know what it's like to have your whole life torn apart. Sorry, I did not know. I could not have known. That almost makes it worse. You should know. You should know exactly what it did to me, how it made me feel. It made me feel like this. 
<clears throat> and runs her through with her fucking spear. I don't care if they say knocking out a thousand times. It's a fucking spear. Point. Right there. Fucking not single edge blade. It's what a Naginata is. It's a katana on the end of a fucking stick. Look it up. Pardon, I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, Narumi, was it? Narutan. What? That's what you used to call me, Chi-Chan. You used to call me Narutan. We used to play together almost every day. That's how you should know. I was with you when the incident happened. You don't even remember. Oh, so they were friends, huh? What a twist! I... Uh, uh. It would collapse on one knee, clutching her head. I remember the village glowing orange, a girl younger, resembling you. I. Why could I not remember this before? Machiko. My head hurts. I remember mercy you cry. You screamed for your parents. You were calling out my name as I ran. I had to. The villagers, they wanted to catch us, all spirits. They didn't care that we'd been playing by the river all day. I couldn't explain it. I had to run. Can't believe it. Narutan, I'm so sorry. Fox Spirit reached out for the guard and pulled back instinctively. Come on! Hug, kiss, and make up. It'll be great. It kept me all sorts of use. As she did, the pain seemed to disappear. Machika looked more relieved than anything. Not yet. I just you can't just forget about all that. It isn't that easy? But you did stand up to that slime Crete, uh, the one you called Sakura. You can call it a creature. No one cares. No one cares about slimes. You risked your life for Mio and for the village, and that's worth giving you a chance for. I can't promise a miracle, though, because she barely even listens to me, but I'll try to talk her down. She really isn't the cold, heartless cat that everyone thinks she is. Well, she's gonna have. Well, we need the Cindir, right? That, that works into the harem. Everybody's got a Cindir somewhere. Thank you for giving us a chance, Naruto. I promise Mike and I will do our best. Perhaps you can tell me more about the incident. The village burned down, a lot of people died. What else is there to know? Oh, we're gonna have to figure out who caused it. It isn't a happy story, but if you do me a favor, I might be more willing to tell you. Oh ho ho. I wanna get stronger. I couldn't do anything earlier today, I couldn't protect anyone. I don't have the brains for magic or anything like that, but that Takahiro guy knows some pretty flashy moves. He's some chudo, man. My favorite fighting style. If you get him to teach me something, I'll tell you what happened. Deal, Chi Cham. She's gonna use your feminine wiles to convince me. Oh boy. I'm not too sure. That seems a bit of an unfair deal on my part. Perhaps you could sweeten it for me just a little. Always a charmer, huh? Alright, how about this? I'll tell you something about when we were younger, like when we used to play together in the woods near the village. There's a little stream there we used to fish in. Sometimes you would sneak in the village with me and we'd play pranks on the shop owners, knocking on doors and running away. Silly kid stuff. Ding dong ditching is a serious matter, okay? You even show me your magic, your illusion abilities, but you said you didn't like doing it all that much because it made Maiko cry. <laughs> That's right, and Michael saw me transform for the first time. She got so scared she ran away and nearly hurt herself. <laughs> she fucking tripped over a rock and almost busted her head open. How could I possibly have forgotten that, Naruto? Thank you for telling me that. You don't need all these that. Oh, you don't need you don't need all these that's in here, that's all I'm saying. I swear I'll get Takun to help you, thank you. The girl stepped forward once again, this time wrapping her arms around the surprise guard who did not pull back. As the two women hugged each other tightly, the fox spirit became trembling. Can we get a CG of them hugging? That'd be great. I'd love that. Come now? We should probably go back to the others. They're probably wondering where we've gone. Give me for my absence. I must imagine I expect such revelations. Takakun, have you explained the situation? I think they get it now, but it's probably going to take a while for the villagers to accept you. I do believe it will be in everyone's best interest to see the true nature of the Fox Spirits. While I can't promise that friendships will be forged today, let it be known that from now on, Fox Spirits are welcome in our village, and will receive the same respect any guest should. Thank you, Elder Sama. My sister and I are very grateful for your hospitality. However, the laws of the village shall apply to you three as well. Takahiro-kun, I do believe it would be best interest to learn more about the village. Sakino Dono, Narumi-chan, and I leave him in your care. Oh boy. Try to put him back in that cell. Dot dot dot. You got it, Oji-sama. We'll do our best. What about Maiko and Chicha, uh, Machiko-san? I'd like them to stay here for the time being. We need to discuss what to do should the other spirits choose to return. Elisama, I would like to stay with you for that conversation. It's my duty to protect the village and those within from any perceived danger. This includes you. I also believe it would serve me well to hear this firsthand. I expected nothing. Sukino Dono, Narumi-chan, I want you to take Takahiro-kun for a walk. Don't think this is a date, young man. You're going to need more when that show were later and earn the right to date my granddaughter. I'm just bumbling. Holy shit, what's wrong with me? I gotta go take a nap. I mean, I'm fucking up because of that. The man laughed heartily as I blushed, smiling weakly. At least I wouldn't end up cuffed and brought into a jail cell this time. Well, yeah, why would you want to be rewarded for bad behavior? I mean, come on. Maybe it would even turn out to be a pleasant experience. It didn't. <laughs> even the elements he knew work against the village today. Barely a minute into the walk, this guy's let loose and we were both soaked through. Within seconds? That doesn't sound right. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna cut the video here. 
See you guys in part 7, okay? Hope you're enjoying this series. Bye-bye.